Hey guys, my name is Scobie and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to update your Xbox One controller's firmware with your PC. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is, of course, connect your Xbox One controller to our PC. I'd recommend doing this without Bluetooth just to make sure you have a stable connection and no issues come true in the middle. Because if an issue can come true, it may potentially break your controller. So let's just be the safest here and connect it via USB. From this point, we're going to be opening up the start menu in our Windows and we're going to be searching for store. We're going to be opening up the Microsoft Store. Now, this should be installed in your Windows by default. So we're first going to have to open this up, which will then open up the Microsoft Store. From this point, we're going to be coming to the search bar on the top right, and we're going to be searching for Xbox Accessories, which is an app. It should show up as you start to type here, and we're going to be going to this app, and we're going to have to download and install this app on Windows. So this app is 100% free, and from what I've read for the Microsoft website, this is the only way to update an Xbox One controller using a PC. With an Xbox, I believe you can just plug it in, it will update automatically, but from PC, this is the only way to do it. So you will need a Microsoft email and you will have to be logged into your account here to be able to download this. In this case, I've already logged in and everything previously, so you will have to log in right here. And then we're gonna be launching the app. In this case, you can see my controller is connected and you can see all the buttons are active. That means my controller is 100% picked up in my computer. As you've seen at the start of the video, I plugged it in via cable, so it'll take a minute or two before it'll actually find your controller. And here you'll be able to test and see everything. So to actually update our controller's firmware, what we need to do is click on the three dots option right here. And from here, we'll see the current firmware of our actual controller. And you'll see we'll have the option to update here. We'll also have the option to buzz, which if you click, will actually buzz your controller. I'm not sure if you heard that in the microphone, but it will buzz your controller. But in this case, we're just gonna be updating the firmware directly. So what I'm gonna be doing is clicking the firmware version to update. You'll then get the option to say before you start connecting controller via USB, keep any devices connected to your controller. All this is perfectly fine. Click continue and then your controller should start to update. Now this can take a couple of minutes depending on your computer and depending on the controller. This takes somewhere around five minutes for me to get started and get done, but it's a really easy process. Anyway guys, it's as easy as that to update the firmware on your Xbox One controller. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the other videos on the channel. I'll leave a link down below to my PayPal if you found these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.